Guys, we're back. Today's lesson's about icebox. It's something that chemistry teachers make a huge fuss about, but it's really no big deal. So, icebox basically tells you the initial, the change, and the equilibrium values for a system at equilibrium. And you use molarities in this, and this is used for Kc, Ka, Kb, Ksb, stuff like that. So let's say we're given this problem where the Ka of nitrous acid is 4 times 10 to the negative 4th. And we're asked to find the concentration of the nitride ion at equilibrium in a 0.310 molarity solution of nitrous acid. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set up an icebox and put 0.310 for nitrous acid because, well, that's what we're given. Duh. So for 0, we're going to put 0 for H plus and for NO2 minus. And next we're going to put negative X for the change in HNO2. We do this because we don't know the change that's going to happen. Normally, the coefficient of the reactants will be negative, but it will always be the, the side with a higher concentration. Also, the coefficient of the reaction will be the coefficient for the variable. For the equilibrium change, we're going to take the initial and add the change, but because the change is negative for HNO2, it's going to seem like we're subtracting. Next, we're going to take the equilibrium expression and plug in the E values, just like that. Also, there is this amazing assumption rule that can make your life so much easier. It basically says that if its k is less than negative 10 to the negative fifth, then you can take out the x on the bottom. And this is because of the sig figs. But because in this problem it's not bigger than 10 to the negative fifth, this doesn't apply, sadly enough. So now we're going to simplify it and do a bit of math, and we're going to keep the x in. And we're going to find that x equals 0 0.01 molarity. And since x is equal to NO2 minus, then NO2 minus also equals 0 0.01 molarity. And now, on a side note, you're going to need a calculator to solve for this, or you could use the quadratic formula or a calculator app to figure it out, which, by the way, you're going to need to solve that formula right, or that equation right there. So guys, Icebox is pretty important for the AP test, so make sure you study up, and you can find example problems on the College Board website. So if you have any questions, comments, requests for topics, don't hesitate to ask us, just make sure you like, share, give us a thumbs up, you know, stuff like that, and thanks for watching. So make sure you study up on your icebox, and we hope you ace. This is ASAP.